Good morning everyone, welcome to St. Petersburg, beautiful city it is indeed. Now just out and about, about to go do some sightseeing. But first, need to go find an ATM to put some money in on my bank card. Yeah, so um, due to sanctions, so normal everyday bank cards, uh, foreign ones, they don't work here anymore. So Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Diners Club, all that stuff, it's not going to work. So your best option is to take cash with you. But as a foreigner, you can open up one of these, which is a mere bank card. So a mere bank card is Russia's own payment system. So it's their equivalent to Visa or MasterCard. So as a foreigner, you can actually get one of these bank cards from any Russian bank available. The process usually takes around four to five working days, but it's super quick and efficient. Uh, you set it up and then you can spend it everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. Shops, clubs, bars, restaurants, museums, uh, accommodation wise, booking hotels things like that you can just use this everywhere and it's just very super convenient and everybody accepts it my personal preference would be to use something like Spearbank only because it's it's the biggest bank in Russia and it's the most common one and you find their ATMs everywhere and also another thing on ATM so ATMs here is they do give you an option you can deposit cash inside them all of them which I think is amazing because uh back home where I'm from you don't get the option to do that at all you only get the option to deposit money inside a bank but here that's super convenient so if you want to put money away it's very easy It's always lovely walking around this city, you know, just the architecture, the layout, everything. It's all about it, it's just, it just leaves you in awe. It's basically you're walking in a museum. So this is my second time in St. Petersburg, and I'm heading towards Yupasov Palace to go on a tour, because it was uh, the Tsar Nicholas II's brother's place, and it was also where Gregory Rasputin was murdered on a cold winter night in 1916. Yeah, so if you see down that alleyway there, right there. So yeah, as you can see, I just came out of uh, Yusupov Palace. So I've got some footage in there, but not a lot. Because you're not really allowed to film and I kept getting told off. So it turns out I bought the wrong ticket to the wrong exhibition. So I assumed that it was one ticket for everything. So on the uh, on Google, it said it was 500 rubles and uh, tried booking it through there so I didn't have to queue and pay a ticket on the door, but it didn't work. So when you get there, uh, the lady said it was 750 rubles, thinking, oh, 750 gets you access to the whole building. 
but when I tried to enter the main exhibition, the 20th century they call it, uh, which had Rasputin in there, because it was the same building he was murdered in, uh, <laughs> that one is a completely separate ticket, the ticket inspector told me. So I had no idea, so I basically bought the wrong ticket for the wrong exhibition. So it was like an extra uh, five, six hundred rubles or whatever. So they don't really make it that clear. And uh, to be honest, I am to blame because my Russian's not great. Well, I say great, it's just non-existent. You know, this city just never ceases to amaze me with everything it just has to offer. Whether it's uh, food, drink, museums, excursions, nightlife, whatever. It has almost everything you could need. I suppose the problem is I've only ever been here during winter or cold seasons. I wonder what it's like during the summer. Just... So right now we're just round the corner from St. Isaac's Cathedral and the bronze statue of the horseman, which should be coming up just now. It's a beautiful place. place is a very high traffic area you've got buses and coaches coming in and then obviously there's that and there's people parking up and loads of tourists coming in and out and here we are there it is so if you can see just over there you can see people going all the way up to the top of the bell tower and you can go even further up and then obviously at the bottom. So there's two tickets you can buy. There's one that takes you inside and effectively in the area where you're inside the cathedral. And there's one that takes you right to the top, but that's an extra ticket. So just walking away from St. Isaac's Cathedral and heading towards uh, Nevsky Prospect area. So it's a really nice area. So Nevsky Prospect is like the main drag of this city. So not a bad walk around. As you are. So you see that there? It's a place called Depeche Mode Bar. So it's a Depeche Mode themed bar and they do like really good music there. So it's all Depeche Mode and the drinks are relatively cheap. So it's a good time if you're ever in this city. I highly recommend it. It's just one thing I've always said about this city is you could walk around it for hours and hours and hours and you'd never get bored. Like, you, you get tired, but you would never get bored. So I've always been asked by people, like, what is the difference between Moscow and St. Petersburg? Like, price-wise. I'd say St. Petersburg, slightly cheaper, very touristy, but I think in the sense of like groceries and things like that, I'd say it's slightly more expensive. Particularly if you're buying like bare necessities. 